How are you doing everyone? Welcome to my video on how to tame a dragon. Shh, shush dragon. How to tame a dragon in RL Craft. So hopefully by the end of this video you will have a decent amount of know-how to grab one of these really cool mobs in the mod pack. Um, if it's if you're not in RL Craft, it's actually from the mod Fire and Ice. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking on. Let's take teach you guys some of the basics on how to get one of these as a pet. Okay, so the first thing you want to be doing, guys, is in your world, you want to be looking for something that looks a little bit like this. Obviously, if you get too close, you're going to aggro the dragon and you'll have a, a bit of a fight. My tip to you is to try and get a little bit far away from him and try and take him out with a lot of arrows. Uh, because if you hit them, they won't come for you they, unless you get within an aggro range. But yeah, I, I would say, I, I don't really know, you'd, you'd have to trial and error it, but uh, I'd say back here should be enough something like that i don't know trial and error like i say trial and error so the first thing you want to be doing is looking for this this is a dragon roost okay so when you find one of these um you've pretty much got a dragon once you kill the dragon which i will do in a second um you can loot some stuff for him but um to get yourself a better knowledge of this mod which is quite a big one. You're going to need three of these. So when you go, when you find their chests, you're going to find some manuscripts. We'll get to that in a second. I know it's not like really like a hundred percent like trying to you know it's got nothing to do with uh, taming the dragon per se. It does give you a little bit of an insight of the mod itself with all the mo mobs and items and that that you can craft. So, but we'll get that to that in a second. So. When you find a dragon, you definitely want to try and kill it. So let's do that now. Okay, whilst this is not absolutely necessary, I just thought I'd uh, let you guys know what happens when you kill a dragon and loot it. So it might save you some headaches down the line so you know how to better approach this and as and when you need to. Uh, so what you do is you go up to a dead dragon and right click and you'll notice all the items. You're literally stripping the dragon clean. You've got the flesh here. You can get scales, um, that's a Halloween thing, don't worry about that. Um, you can get bones and dragon skulls, don't worry about this, that's irrelevant, that's what I just used to kill it. But you can get dragon bones, dragon flesh, which I don't think has a use as far as I know, and nor does the heart. But these are the things that you want to get from the dragon. Dragon scales, uh, you know, it's not necessary for taming a dragon, but you can make armor, which is the normal armor recipe fairly straightforward but these are pretty much more important uh, during the taming process and the dragon skull so you definitely want to grab some of these uh, because they're going to help you along the line so there you go roosts the roosts are the place to start bag yourself some a few resources uh, and you'll see why in a minute because you're going to need to craft a couple of items using some bones and dragon skulls and stuff but these are a brucey bonus to keep you uh, safe in the uh, the horrible place called RL Craft. However, there is other mod packs that use this mod. This is, like I say, ice and fire. But anyways, let's um, let's crack on. Um, dragon roosts are not actually the only place you can find dragons. Now, if you're underground and you are fortunate enough, whilst there's no like te telltale signs of where to find them. You might just get lucky. They are quite hard to find. If there is telltale signs, I would like to know. Let me know in the comments. But uh, if you are lucky enough to find whilst digging underground, in fact, we're going to go back into creative so you can see. So it's going in game mode one. I'm going to give myself a night vision potion to just so you guys can see a little bit better. So roosts are not the only um, the only place to find these things. Dragon caves are a thing. So if you are dig dig digging underground, you may come across something that looks a bit like this. Now from the outside, you'll probably see it like, I don't know, you'll be digging and then you'll hit this dark kind of cobble cobblestone kind of thing. There's a dragon layer on the other side of that. So be careful. So if you're digging around and you see this, you've, you've struck it lucky or unlucky depending on you know when you see it so underground there are sleeping dragons i believe these are like 
uh, stage five. Dragons go from stage one to five, one being a baby, and two to five is like when you see them flying around. So this is a dragon's layer. Let me go back into creative because we're gonna actually need, we're gonna actually need to uh, kill this guy. Uh, but bear in mind, if you're playing something like RL Craft, this is gonna be heavily guarded with lots of horrible mobs. So make sure you're prepared for any dragon fight. Um, if you're going for a dragon fight, definitely invest in fire resistance somehow, um, and maybe blast blast resistance I think it is blast protection whatever so I'm just gonna kill this one again I'm gonna kill this one down in in underground but these are fairly rare I've never found one myself but if you find one of these these are um, the puppies to actually get what you're gonna need now if you're in the roosts remember the roosts I think there is a chance of finding an egg this is you're definitely pretty much gonna get an egg in a, a, like a dragon cave here but if you're if you're looking at the nests or the roosts uh, if you're lucky and you got a female female dragon the female dragon may drop an egg but you're more likely to get one in a, a dragon cave so I'm just gonna kill this and grab the egg for you guys and there you have it the dragon is dead once again right click and you will harvest everything from that dragon there you go. I believe this is a tier, these, the ones in the caves, you get loads of scales from that. Uh, by the way, just FYI, if you get a empty bottle, if I can find the empty bottle, and say right click on a dragon, you can get blood that way. Or you can get it from villagers that you may find. Some villagers from like uh, the, the cold biomes and the hot, the hot biomes, I guess, have trades specifically for dragon blood. You can get that. So you can loot the chest. Once again, you get more manuscripts. I'll get into that in a second. Um, but yeah, the dragon should have dropped an egg. Do we get an egg? Uh, okay, maybe they don't always like drop eggs. Or I'm, I'm like blind. I, I, yeah. Okay, so there's a chance of an egg. I thought these ones definitely uh, drop, drop eggs. Uh, clearly not, unless I'm totally going out of my mind. I don't think I am. There's, I would have seen it by now. But yeah, there's a chance that they would drop an egg. Uh, so we will pretend that this one did drop an egg. So they look something like this. I think we can place them down in the world like that, but it's not going to do anything. But we're going to get to that in a second. Right, onwards. Okay, some of this isn't actually relevant to taming a dragon, but it will help you on your on your quest to actually tame them and give you a bit more of an insight of the mod. The first thing I would definitely highly recommend you read is the bestiary, is that how you say it? I don't know. And what you do is you get three of those manuscripts from the nests uh, or the chests from the, wherever the dragon is. Um, by the way, those gold blocks are actually gold nuggets. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not really important. I guess if you need gold, it's there. Uh, it's not that much, but it's, it's not worth risking your life for. When I first saw the gold piles, I was like, ooh, gold, and then, you know, it's not really worth it. This is what you want, along with the bones and all that stuff. So what you do is you just put three manuscripts to make the, the actual book. That's how you make the book. And then to get the lectern here, you just do two oak planks. It can be any wood that you want with a book on top, and that will give you the, uh, sorry, the lectern. And then all you do is right click on the lectern, put the book in the left hand side here, and then you'll notice all it says is contains introduction. So you, all you know is the introduction. So from there on out, when you find more manuscript in the world, all you do is place it in the bottom slot here, and you'll notice this little loading bar will go up, and then that will add another chapter to your book. And then the more you collect, the more you learn. So yeah, I highly recommend you, you collect the pages. And as you can see now, we've got um, information about Gorgons. So you can do that, so on and so forth. And that's how you learn about the Fire and Ice or Ice and Fire mod. I don't know what one it's called, what's it called? Ice and Fire, I call it Fire and Ice. I'm so backwards. Right, so uh, you're gonna need to, this is where the skull comes in from um, the dead dragons. Um, we're going to get to this in a minute, but I'm just going to show you these items that you probably most likely need. Again, you're going to need the bones from the dead dragons. We're going to make a dragon horn. Um, and 
but this is the most important thing. Uh, as we just found out, they may not drop the egg, but if you find a dragon egg, you're definitely gonna want to use it. And this is the only way you can tame a dragon, as far as I know. So what you do is uh, with, um, there's like different types of, of eggs. I'm gonna try and do this off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that uh, the bronze and the gray need fire. And I can't remember how to do these ones. Okay, it's just as I thought. So basically, you need to heat the fire ones up and you need to freeze the cold, uh, the, the, the ice ones. So the ice ones are silver, blue, white, and sapphire eggs, which need to be put in water. If the water, uh, so if you, you put one of these eggs in a, a source, a water source, and then surround it with ice if you can. If the water freezes, it will speed up the process drastically for the ice ones. But we're gonna focus on the 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 uh, fire one here. So let's just get rid of that, grab ourselves a fire, grab ourselves a bit of nether rack. And I believe I got a, um, what do we call it here? So what you wanna do is you want to put your nether rack down along with your egg. And as you can see, it is doing absolutely nothing. But if we set the nether rack on fire, I don't know if you can see, but the egg is actually wibbling and wobbling. Cool, right? That means whatever's happening, um, it's doing its job. I think if you say surround it by with more nether rack, so put more um, flames around it, then it will speed up the process. I'm not 100% sure. We're about to find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back uh, once the egg hatches. So I'm probably just gonna let it run so we don't miss it. So hopefully we will see the dragon. I'm not really 100% sure on this, but uh, we'll find out, eh? It's still wibbling, wobbling. Yeah, it's wobbling a good one. Uh, if you're playing RL Craft and you've got Lycanites uh, or Lycanites mod installed, I highly recommend you be very careful with this because you're going to get a lot of cinders. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get cinders at any given point. But anyway, let's just kind of speed this up. Okay, just heard a noise. I'm pretty sure he's he's done. Let's get it take time. I'm hearing noises. Can we see a dragon? There's a dragon. Let's just extinguish the fire here. So that took about five minutes, I think. So if you surround him by fire, it speeds up the process. And that is pretty, pretty sweet. I know what you're thinking. Well, this is quite new to me. I'm gonna call it Alduin. Okay, so I think once you name him with a name tag, I think then he becomes like like attached to you, I guess. So as you can see, if I go like this, if I walk up to him, maybe he's gonna... Oh no, you gotta right click on him and he will go on your shoulder. That is really cool. Check that out. So right click on him when he's a baby, he will go on your uh, shoulder. He's called Alduin. It would have been better if he was like the grey one. That would have been a lot better. But uh, yeah, you get the you get the idea. So yeah, it, if you if you right click on him, you'll pick him up. If you sneak, he will he will fall to the ground, kind of like a parrot in vanilla. And yeah, so name him with a name tag. If I sneak and right click, it still says unnamed though. That's really odd. Oh, there you go. Sneak and right click, you will actually name him. Such a noob. I never thought about doing this, uh, doing that actually before making this video. So uh, don't don't hammer me in the comments. But there you go. There's Alduin. Now when I sh when I shift and right click, you can see his health is 24 out of 24. He's a male, which means uh, he he won't be making any more eggs. If you get a female, 
there's a chance that they can lay eggs when they're old enough um, when they get to like stage four or five so four or five stage dragons can actually lay eggs if they're female um, and yeah it tells you the owner so as you can see the hunger is 49 out of 100 it is essential that you keep feeding these guys because otherwise they probably will die I'm, I'm not 100% sure but I can imagine they will die if they get absolutely starved so what you're going to need to do is make the dragon meal which is uh, five bones and uh, any meat of your choice it doesn't have to be uh, raw beef it can be cooked beef it can be chicken uh, mutton you name it right so you can pretty much as you can see from here you can see all the different kinds of meat so pretty much meat with bones and you've got yourself uh, dragon a dragon mill and all you do is right click on him and as you can see the more you feed him see his hunger now hunger is a hundred out of hundred so it's pretty cool the more you feed him the bigger he's gonna get so you just hold right click down as you can see he's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger Oh, to see what stage he's on now. Okay, he's now stage three, so I think from shush, I think from stage two, he he, you should be rideable from stage two. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure stage two, uh, you should be able to you should be able to mount him, and I think you can mount him just by right clicking on him. Can I just mount him? So right click on his back and you can mount them. I'm not really sure how you steer them. How do we fly? Can you not fly yet? Okay. Oh! I'm holding spacebar and he seems to be flying. There you go. How do I descend? Okay, X is descend on our aircraft. Space is to ascend. And obviously forward, backward, left and right. A little bit tricky to steer, um, but really, really super cool. Like, super cool. This is really wicked. All right, let's try and land him. Let's try and land him on this pad here. Let's go on F5, I find it easier. Hold X. There we go. And I suppose you... Whoa! You, yeah, to get off... It's like getting out of a boat or dismantling a horse. That's how you do it. Anyways, that's not all, guys. Once you've got your dragon, uh, once you're able to ride your dragon, you can then craft uh, some stuff. This is... Uh, we'll do that one in a minute, actually. Where's the, where's the other one? So we'll, we'll make the command staff. So all it is is a stick and the dragon skull from killing dragons. And then I think all you do is right-click on your dragon and the dragon will stay. It's like he's sitting. If you right click on him again, he's now wandering. So that way you can stop him from uh, running around like a loony, right? So there you go. So it's essential you get that. That's kind of why I showed you uh, killing the dragons at the beginning so you can craft these items. These items are quite good to have. Uh, the other one is the horn. Where have I put you? The horn is just some sticks and some more bones. Bones, you can get loads of bones once you kill a couple of dragons. Uh, if you're lucky, uh, I might not have mentioned this, but you can see, you can find bones from dead dragons. You, I've seen some in cold and, and hot biomes. Um, probably elsewhere as well. You can find dead dragons kicking around and then you can loot the bones. You can't get scales or flesh because obviously they've decayed, but you can get bones all the same and probably a skull. Uh, yeah, so then you want to grab yourself the horn which is made like so and then all you do is you right click your dragon or your horn okay maybe not that mounts him this is awkward I can't remember the mechanics <laughs> I didn't say Google right how do I I can't remember to do this
Sorry, my Google went off. Hold on a minute. What else? Sorry about that. Uh, my Google Home went off. Apologies. <laughs> so, um, basically, um, the horn will do this. We'll go up to it and right click on him. And that will kind of store him in the horn. Now, to summon, resummon your dragon, all you do is hold it, right click, and then you will get him back. And then you just empty hand, you know, just fly him into the sunset. Now, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, no, it isn't. Let's uh, quickly land. There's one more thing I can show you guys. It's because I didn't have it laid out, um, is why I didn't show you. So let's just dismount here. Uh, where's the wand? I'm sure we can find him anyway. So um, also, if you are quite rich, uh, resource rich, you can make armor for them. So you, there's like different parts of armor. And then I believe you just, with an empty hand, shift right click. And then you can just add the armor to your dragons. To, to make these armor, you're going to need a lot of diamonds or, or the, you know, or iron or gold, depending on what material. Uh, yeah, you're going to need blocks, not not the ingots. It's a lot to do, but it looks super duper cool. So there you go. Anyways, guys, that's a little bit of a, that's the basics on how to um, tame a dragon in our aircraft or, oh look, he's sleeping. That's so cool. Um, that's how to tame a dragon. Hopefully this has helped you on your quest to, to get your new pet. And uh, yeah, I shall see you when I see you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you in my next videos, guys. Thanks you very much. I don't normally do videos like this, so uh, you're lucky, maybe. But there you go. You're welcome. If this has helped you, slap, definitely slap a like. Because uh, yeah, you might have learned something. Take it easy.